Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Tengku Suhaila. Currently, I am a Sharon Rose Master in Atomy. I am 30 years old and I've joined Atomy since April 2020. So today, I will share with you about eight steps to success, focusing on what steps do young generation need to go through to become an auto sales master. But before I start, let me share with you what are these eight steps. Building your dream, determination, name list, invitation, sharing the business, follow up, consultation, and lastly, duplication. But before we even start, what is Auto Sales Master? So as you may already know, to become a sales master, first and foremost, you need 700,000 PPV or 1.4 million GPV in the previous month and having 2.5 million GPV in one cycle from the 1st to 15th of the month or from 16th to end of the month. Now, to become an auto sales master, you need to be a sales master for 12 cycles within one year and you have received a swan pin. So this is about 50 accounts, right? On your right leg and your left leg and spending around at least 100K PPV per month. So you will have around 5 million GPV on your left leg and 5 million GPV on your right leg, which will allow you to become sales master in both cycles. So now let's dive into the perspective of the eight steps. We will review based on each step and what young generations can do to put these steps into action. So firstly, let's talk about building your dream. You are a very young now, but you have to start thinking about what do you want to be when you get older. You can start imagining what kind of lifestyles or living you are looking for. Draft it out or maybe list it out uh, about your dream life. It may sound kind of difficult for us uh, as we may lack experience or even skills. So what we can do is start by observing. Observe other leaders. Try to learn from them and what they share. Now, the first thing to do is to change your mindset. If you really want to achieve something, you have to create your dreams. So what is your desire? To have a balanced life? Maybe to have financial freedom? But what does it really mean to have financial freedom? It means that you have the ability to choose, to choose what you want to do by having this financial independence. You may be thinking, how do I start doing this? Well, let me share with you some important tips. When you are creating or writing your dreams and life plan, you want to specify as much as you can. Be detailed and also precise. You want to be able to visualize this dream that you have and picture it as much as you can in your head. It is more unfortunate to not have dreams than not achieving them. If you want, you can search on how to set SMART goals. SMART stands for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant and also time bound. So this can be a good guideline for you to think about when you are writing down your life scenario book. So you can set your goals on a number of levels. Firstly, you may want to create a big picture or like your big goal of what you want to do with your life. Let's say in the next five or 10 years and identify these large scale goals that you want to achieve. Then you may break this down into smaller targets and smaller goals that you must hit to reach these bigger lifetime goals that you've set earlier. Finally, once you already have your plan, you can start working on it to achieve these goals. Remember, while you are young now, you should be bold. You have nothing to lose, so why not dare to dream? The main tip that I have for goal setting is, like I mentioned just now, set a big long-term goal and also small achievable goals. Why? Because if you only have a big goal that is achievable years from now, you will feel like it's taking forever to get there and then you will get demotivated. So remember to cherish also your small successes that you achieve because these small steps are steps that you are taking towards your bigger goal. The journey is just as important as the destination. 
So this brings me to my second step, determination. When you have a very clear sense of direction, you will have the determination. Like I said earlier, you are young, so you should be bold because you really have nothing to lose at all. Even if when you are not sure how, you can look at all our leaders' success stories and imagine that we are in their position. So this will help you in having the right mindset and also attitude in your daily life. The success of these leaders are definitely not by destiny. They are really determined. They are determined to do it and they are determined to achieve it. So what can you do to encourage your partners? Take part and contribute to Atomy's success system and encourage them to do the same. I personally think that this is very important because when you are part of the system, you are also surrounded with like-minded people in the business. This will automatically boost your determination and motivation. Remember that direct selling is also a networking business, the business of people. So you want to be able to communicate and help people out when needed. Humans require a sense of community and a sense of belonging. So you want to take some time in doing this and people will feel encouraged. Third step is creating your name list. So let's talk about how you can create name list of prospects. When creating your name list, you want to avoid first and foremost prejudice and preconceptions. If it is within your capacity, you can think about going out of the box. But let's say if you are just starting, so you can start with reachable groups of people that are close to you. So start close. You can start with your family members, you can start with your friends, colleagues, or even peers. And remember to update the name list from time to time. Avoid making assumptions. Now I know because I am anxious and I am an overthinking person too, but you don't want to spend too much time thinking about what people will say or how they will react. You may do the name list with the mindset of young generation. You can think about what do young generation worry about most? Do they worry about money? Do they worry about health? What are they concerned of? So yes, you don't assume they will straight away reject you, but you may categorize them with the interest of having them sharing what they like. You see, when we make assumptions and avoid sharing with certain people, we are actually sabotaging our own opportunities. So if you think about it, you really have nothing to lose. If you've already shared and some people aren't interested right now, it's okay because at least you talk to them about it. So even if they don't hear it from you, they might actually hear it from someone else later anyway. Let's say one day they decided to know more about Atomy, there's a chance that they would ask you about it. So brings me to my next step, which is invitation. You can communicate with partners through personal chat or chat groups, as well as Zoom meetings. You can invite them to join any business previews online seminars, Facebook Lives, and etc. You can write out your message nicely. Remember to greet them, introduce yourself if you haven't before, and let them know about these things. You share the links to them so they can easily take part. And remember to share genuinely and be as kind and understanding as you can. Do not be judgmental and forceful in your approach. This is very important. You want to leave things on a positive note and Many people will actually appreciate this. They will keep you in mind if they want to know more or if they are interested in the future. Another important thing is, instead of just sharing the meeting links to the videos informing the prospect to attend, another thing that you can do to take a step further is you can start creating a catchy title to increase their interest in clicking the button or the link. You can also highlight the key points of the meeting or include a brief preview what the meeting will be about. So this can be based on the categories that you said earlier. So you may have different sessions of meetings or sharing according to different topics, for example, cooking or skincare tips or health and supplement and others. So step number five is sharing the business. So when you are sharing about the business, there are actually three things that you need to focus on. Firstly, you want to explain about the product strategy, uh, which is also message. Number two, you want to talk about the compensation plan. And number three, you want to share about the company's vision. You want to always highlight Atomy's product strategy message. 
The term mastage is derived from the word mass, meaning general public, and teach comes from the word prestige. So we know that Atomy offers products of absolute quality at an absolute price, which is the secret behind the company's success. Now, the main question is, how do we get our friends who are the younger generation to be attracted to Atomy's products or even start the business? Now, I know that my peers are very good at the sharing part, especially on social media. You see, we share about our daily lives and interests all the time. So this is why being a prosumer is a success combo for younger generation like me in Atomy. We also see a lot of successful young leaders in Atomy. However, we want to take into account and understand how the younger generation actually have limited sources of income to begin with. So when you share the products, you can choose to share ones that are not too heavy on the pocket as well as routine because at the same time, you want to share daily products with results that they can feel and also acknowledge. I personally would suggest you share about the sunscreen and facial cleanser. Why? Because these are basic products that people use every day and require minimal routine and don't require them to make huge switch from their current routine. See, younger generation definitely don't like to tolerate with authority, so we want to let the choice come from them. When they experience the positive changes on their own, they will willingly share about it. Next, you want to share about the compensation plan. You want to talk about how the company uses a binary and global one system. This is extremely important because it is actually very rare to see an MLM company allowing you to collect PV from the global market. Apart from that, the business has unlimited levels, no forced purchases, free registration, and can be passed down to up to three generations. Yes, this company is helping you to build your future by allowing you to pass down your Atomy income to your next of kins. Lastly, you want to tell about the company's vision. Share with people about the company's performance, GSGS strategy, how the company has spread to almost 20 countries with upcoming branches, and of course, about our success system. This is so that people can see that Atomy is actually a credible company. Now, this will increase people's trust and confidence in the company itself. However, you want to make sure that you do not overshare and make, make things too difficult or too complicated to understand. You want to keep it simple and easy to digest because the faster people can grasp what the Atomy business is about, the faster they can make decisions if they are truly interested in this business. Now we've come to the sixth step, which is following up. Very important step. You want to build relationship with people and share things that create value. So you may follow up through text messages, calls, video calls, whichever you prefer. You can ask people how they are doing so far and if they have tried Atomy products, ask them for feedbacks. You may teach them on how to use the products or share any tips that you have. Help them solve any problems or issues. This is a very important step. Basically, you want to help your members to feel at ease with their Atomy journey. Let's say you have already shared what they like. You may try to follow up by introducing products that they have never even thought about to catch their interest. For example, a lot of women nowadays like to share about makeup and skincare products because beauty is their interest. So now you may start to introduce them to health supplements or healthy food because we also know that beauty comes from within. So for example, you can share about Atomy's vitamin C or probiotics. People like it when things are made easy and not complicated. So make things easy for them and they will appreciate it. Now this brings me to point number seven, consultation. Let's talk about consultation. Even from the first step just now, I have been sharing about trying to learn from leaders and observe our leaders or uplines, which clearly shows that this business is not a solo business. It's all about team management and team building. We are the Atomy family and family is the place which makes you feel comfortable. So don't be scared and hesitate to ask. 
or contacting your uplines and downlines. The invitation that you made earlier for your business partners, you can use the same invite to invite your uplines to join as well. Let all the partners consult together and mingle. See, this is what the success system is all about. To share, to learn, to gather and to achieve success together. You want to engage in meetings or chat groups and you can also reach out to your upline or downline personally. Again, don't be scared to ask questions and reaching out. You want to put aside differences and focus on the similarities that you share with your team. To build trust is to build rapport and building rapport is to tear down the barrier you have between you and them. One of these is through effective communication. You know that communication goes both ways. So half of communication is actually listening. So take time to listen uh, to either your upline or your downline. Through communication, we are able to change people's thinking or mindset. So you need to earn people's respect and this is one way for you to do it. Now my last step that I want to share with you today is duplication. Duplication starts when upline shares what they are doing to achieve their goals and encourage downline to do the same. The key here is consistency. Duplication will happen when you consistently do the same thing again and again. So how do you encourage this duplication? You want to encourage your members to use their own set of skills in doing things. We know that different people have different skill sets and different abilities, and this will lead you to doing things slightly differently, although the main idea is actually the same. So younger generation maybe are more in tune with social media, especially fast-paced sharing things on Instagram, Twitter, or even TikTok. So encourage them to use these platforms as tools. We want to keep learning and keep upgrading yourself and skills. Remember that we also have our channel Atomy, which is a website that you can go to to watch plenty of videos from various speakers about whatever topic you want to know about in Atomy. There's also extra product information for your own learning purposes, but at the same time, you can use this information when you are sharing with your partners. So in conclusion, I highly encourage you to achieve Auto Sales Master in Atomy because at this level, you will have a steady income and this will enhance not only your own life but others around you as well. The more you gain, the more you can share. Achieving Auto Sales Master also means that you are very committed and ready to set and strive for bigger goals. This leads back to my first point earlier, building your dream. So I hope that we can all build our dreams together and I will see you at the top. Aja, aja, aja.